Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you uh, top 10 most beautiful islands that you can visit in Malaysia if you are in Malaysia or if you're coming to Malaysia. If you're looking for anywhere to go for a brief or short vacation, there are a lot of places to go in Malaysia. So uh, most preferably, if you're a kind of adventurous person, you would like to go to these islands, you'd like to visit these islands. And the top 10 most beautiful islands in Malaysia the number one of it is uh, Perhentian Island. It's in Taranganu, and Taranganu is a state in Malaysia. Uh, that's um, one of the most uh, beautiful islands in Malaysia. You can visit it. It's uh, a little bit far from the capital city, Kuala Lumpur, but uh, you can always drive there or you use public transport. And these are some of the beauties that you can see there. And the number two is Sipadan Island. This one is in Sabah. This one is in East Malaysia. You have to fly to there. It's, uh, there's no road to there. It's usually through a plane. So if you want to go here, you have to fly uh, because it's in East Malaysia in Sabah. And if you're living here in the West Malaysia, in the Peninsula Malaysia, if you want to visit here, Sometimes they require some special permit from the immigration for you to visit this uh, East Malaysia, Sarawak, and Sabah. So if you are planning to visit anywhere around this place or this island or some other islands, Sabah is very notorious with islands. They have a lot of beautiful islands. So if you wish to visit these places, make sure you make uh, inquiries about the immigration rules and how you can successfully travel to Sabah or any of the nearby states like Labuan and Sarawak. And uh, these are the, some of the beauties you will see. You can do snorkeling and uh, other activities at the island. And another one is uh, Tillman Island. Now, Tillman Island is a very beautiful island. Inside the Tillman Island, there are a lot of uh, other small islands also that you can visit. and it's much more beautiful than these. These are some of the things that you can see at German Island. There are a lot of beautiful blue seas and green seas, clear water seas, beaches. There are a lot of a lot of islands in German Island actually. So if when, if you're going, usually if you're going from here in KL, uh, you will most probably drive to Mersin. Mersin is like a port in Johor and this island is in Pahang. So you stop at, you drive your car to the Mersin port and you will park your car there. Then you will take a ferry to this island. Whenever you return, the ferry usually goes, I think once or twice a day and then returns the next morning. So uh, you can take like one or two days vacation to this island and you for sure enjoy yourself. There are a lot more beautiful things you can visit. I've been to this island and I really enjoyed my time there. It's quite beautiful. And the, these are the things that you can see. You can do snorkeling, you can uh, swim with the fishes there also quite beautiful. And another island, which is uh, number four is Matakin Island. That's uh, in Sabah also, because Sabah has a lot of islands. Sabah is very notorious with a lot of beautiful islands. Uh, but the problem there is uh, being able to go there successfully because uh, Sabah and Sarawak have their own immigration autonomy. So if your visa permits you to stay in Malaysia, it doesn't really permit you to visit uh, Sabah and Sarawak. So if you wish to go there, you need to get some special permit. Uh, from the immigration before you can visit. So that is usually the stress of visiting this place. But if you are able to get this permit and you can go there, you wouldn't really have a problem. Uh, sometimes they don't really require the permit. It all depends on the immigration officer at the counter. So, uh, but if you can successfully go there, uh, you will really enjoy yourself because they have a lot of islands. They have a lot of islands. And this one also is Langkawi Island. It's very popular now. A lot of people go there. It's in Kedah also. It's in a different state from the capital city. Uh, it's a very popular place that a lot of people visit, especially people that come to Malaysia. And uh, people that are coming for tourism and some other things, uh, they, they really uh, visit here a lot. And I wouldn't say it's much fun. I've heard a lot of people complain that uh, the place is becoming less fun. 
but apart from the island also there are different things you can do in Langkawi so you can also wish to visit it because it's a very popular tourist destination and these are some of the things that you can see there and the next one is a uh, Pankor Island this one is also very beautiful it's in Perak it has a lot of clear waters and uh, very beautiful sightseeing things that you can enjoy there and uh, this one is a drive away also you can drive uh, to the place and use ferry to go to the island it's uh, not so far it's about two hours drive from the capital city and the next one is uh, Redang Island uh, this one is in Tarangano also uh, a bit far but still drivable you can drive I uh, think about three hours or so to this place and uh, you can use ferry to go to the island it's quite beautiful there are a lot of beautiful islands in malaysia and you can do snorkeling also uh, and you can do other barbecue and different other activities you can do there this one is uh pula thingy is in johor and johor is about two hours plus away from here you can also drive from the capital city or you can use the public transport also much more convenient for you to drive if you have a car or if you can be able to rent a car so you can always return anytime you want because if you use a public transport you have to follow the schedule or the timing of that uh, uh, public transport but if you are driving your own car which means you can go and return at any time you want and the next one is a uh, Sibuan island this one is in Sabah it's a very beautiful island also so we've already counted about three islands uh, from Sabah which is to show you that Sabah has a lot of beautiful islands because they are like at the tip of Malaysia they're like at the uh, border tip of Malaysia so they have a lot of surrounding islands and they are surrounded by the Philippines and uh, Indonesia so they, they, they are very, very notorious with beautiful islands. These are some of the clear waters you can enjoy. You can also swim and do snorkeling and different things you can do there. And barbecue also if you like. And the number 10 is uh, Penang Island. Penang Island is not so attractive. They have some activities you can do there, but the beaches are not so clear, not so attractive, uh, not, not much of a fun you can do there. I've been there before but uh you can still enjoy yourself if that is the place you were able to go you can still do some other activities you can still ride the water bike and uh different other activities like you can still do this uh, flying thing i don't know what it's called so uh there are a few activities you can do but the beaches are not very clear they don't have very clear water and uh you can really swim in these waters so it's not much of a fun here but uh, the, apart from this uh, Penang Island waters there are different other islands you can visit uh, if you're able to visit uh, Sabah if you're able to enter Sabah if you're able to clear the immigration there uh, I think you will really enjoy it because there are, there are a lot of islands that I have in uh, Sabah and quite beautiful and clear waters but uh, if you don't want to stress yourself to go to East Malaysia you can I would suggest uh, Tillman Island or Redan Island. And the three islands that I can suggest to you which are here in the West Malaysia, in the Peninsula Malaysia, is uh, number one is Redan Island. And the uh, second one is Pankor Island. And the third one is Tillman Island. So these are the three islands that you can visit if you are here in West Malaysia. You can easily go at any time you want. You don't need any special immigration clearance. It's somewhere you can also drive to by yourself. So these are the top 10 uh, islands you can visit in Malaysia to have some fun. Uh, they have hotels also you can lodge inside the island if you want to stay a day or two there. Uh, they have different things, they have foods and different fun activities that you can do there. You wouldn't get bored if you're visiting this island. So guys, this is all from me today for the different islands, the top 10 most beautiful islands that you can visit in Malaysia if you're coming to Malaysia or if you're already in Malaysia. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you again shortly. Bye-bye.